What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and this will be another V-Ray tutorial. So I'm just going to be showing you how to create realistic looking grass using V-Ray. This is one of the best options I found in V-Ray and it's the one I've, the, that I found the most interesting. So let me show you how it works. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well. Okay, so here I am in Revit and this is just a project that I've used for uh, a lot of tutorials because it's it has all the elements so we can add on it. Okay, so let's see, how can we get this, uh, well, pretty plain looking grass field looking more, uh, more realistic? So I'm just going to be using the V-Ray tab, so you find here next to modify the last tab is V-Ray, so you just click on it and you get all of these V-Ray tools. So first we need to uh, set a uh, basically a rendering that's an interactive rendering so we can see all of the changes we're making and for that first let's see in which view we are. So as you can see over here we're in 3D view so you need to go here and for the current view you need to change it to 3d view number two and then for the quality let's just leave it at draft and for resolution uh, I'm just going to make this a bit small or no let's leave it at, uh, as is who cares let's do 900 okay and let's do 150 dpi okay so once we've done setting all of this up you need to just uh, check the lights, make sure they're off, V-Ray Sun, we're just going to be using that thing, and yeah, everything else looks looks alright, exposure value, let's see, what is it at, it's at sunshine, so that works as well, so we're done with all of those setups, so let's start an interactive rendering, so let's wait for a second, and now you get this rendering but the problem is if you select a Revit it kinda goes in the background so what I like to do is like to kinda move Revit out of the way here so we can see both things at the same time and let's move this up a bit and let's see let's say this works for us so this is uh, automatically updating whatever changes we make here in Revit so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go over here and go to asset browser open that thing up and here you've got this V-Ray fur so you need to open that tab up and you need to find the grass material so I'm using actually the plant material so I'm just going to type in plant and wait for a second hit enter and here we go so you've got this you check the plant and here you have the ability to adjust the grass so let's just see let's leave it at this and as you can see it's automatically updating and as you can see the grass already looks a bit more realistic if I zoom in over here as you can see now we've got these blades of grass and we can actually make them a bit uh, larger let's just wait for a second for this to update okay so uh, my computer is lagging a bit so sorry for that it's just under a lot of pressure so here for the length I'm just going to change it from 10 to 20 and hit enter and now it should automatically update over here as you can see the blades of grass are a bit longer so basically you can play around with these settings and get your perfect grass in order you can do some uh, variance some thickness uh, variance and just to make it look more realistic I'm just not going to go too much with these settings as you can see the computer is lagging pretty much so it, I'm having a hard time recording this but you get the point you basically set the height here uh, the thickness and then you can play around with the with these settings